guys how you doing chris rod back at it again with some further may lawn care and what could we be doing in may that's right that's what you see right there <laughs> it's time to start protecting your lawns from grubs okay um this past week for example or it might have been two weeks ago yeah no last week i'm sorry last week because today's wednesday we actually did treat a property a saint augustine client of ours as a matter of fact for grub worms okay um it was very apparent and i'll show you guys a couple pictures of how apparent it was so you know when we're trying to protect our lawns from pests like grub worms ticks fleas sod web worms army web worms ants mole crickets things of that nature you really want to take a proactive step or process to this okay and it's simply a matter of putting down some product it really is the three products that I'm going to actually be talking about today, well, it's actually two product lines, if you will. But you guys, as you know, you follow the channel. I'm a fan of the Bio Advance. It's a DIY. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and then there's, you know, uh, more professional grade products, which is referred to as Immediate Cloprid, okay? Um, the Immediate Cloprid, it's in a liquid form. The Bio Advanced Products lines that you see there in the two bags, okay, that's a granular form, okay? The liquid form, which is actually what I'm going to be applying today, we use our pump sprayer for, okay? Well, actually, it's a battery-operated sprayer. <laughs> but either way, uh, the reason why I like the liquid form is because, A, it's cheaper per application per thousand square foot. Um, I only have to use 0.6 ounces of that product in liquid to spray a thousand square feet as opposed to the granular it's on the high dollar cost side per thousand square foot i think it's like a six seven dollar per thousand square feet application rate on, on cost wise but those bags it's more of a diyer thing the liquid form is really you know you've got your liquid sprayer uh it's battery operated those are some higher cost items all right the uh push spreader you see behind here that's simply what you use if you don't have to have that brand i use a spiker brand you can have a simply scott spreader that's when you need to go ahead and use those granulars okay inside of the let's take a look real quick so when we're taking a proactive measure to this what you want to do and this is really for if you don't have grubs yet and you're targeting the pest before you see June, June bugs or little beetles flying around your lights or in your pool skimmer. If you guys watched my video last week, we actually looked inside of our pool skimmer. We didn't see any grubs, thank God. <laughs> Knock on some wood because we don't want to see them at all. So we be proactive. We're trying to be preventative about this. This is the product that you guys want to use, okay? Um, the season grub control, okay? A lot of these products are gonna give you a three to five month residual and you should want to reapply uh, after those three to five months, you know, round it up, stick it to four months if you want, uh, go on the lower side three months. So if we put down product now, that's gonna give us July, I'm sorry, June, July, and August, the back end of August or early September, I have seen pest issues before that late in the season. So you reapply some product. Um, but right there, it's gonna tell you uh, season long. That's what you're looking for when you're taking that preventative proactive approach on it. Read the back of the label. The label's the law, guys. A lot of these products, some states you can apply them, some other states you can't. Here in West Texas, you can absolutely put this product down. It's going to tell you your application rate. And then it even tells you, it gives you a little diagram there, broadcast spreader, depending on the type of spreader you use and what setting to use it at, depending on your application rate. Okay, so it's very simplistic, guys. Season long grub, proactive, preventative measure, use the season long protection. Now, if you know you got actively growing grubs or you pulled back some areas that look brown they were green at first and now they're brown um and you it pulls back you do a pull test on it you get you grab that grass and you pull it like someone's pulling your hair right but it doesn't pull out or it does pull out and it just folds back all easy like a piece of carpet like you're rolling up a carpet and then right below that if you scratch the surface and you see a june bug well, what happened was that June bug went through the life cycle of a June bug. Um, and, you know, that parpa, parpe turned into a beetle or a June bug, right? And it started to feast on your root system. 
it ate away at the root systems on the grass. When it did that, that's what turned your lawn brown. When you have an actively actively growing problem like grubs, ants, cinch bugs, things of that nature, you need a product that's gonna go ahead and kill that grub worm now. Now as in within 24 hours, dead, gone, it's a goner. The active ingredient in this is triclofan, okay? Did I say that right? Yeah, triclofan. So it's gonna kill it, it's gonna put it down and these products like this, um, not not necessarily this one, this active ingredient, but I know the immediate cloprid for sure. Fun fact for you guys is that it is uh, in the pesticide family of what's called the. Let's see if I can pronounce this right. A neonicotinoid. Okay, neonicotinoid is um, something that essentially is acting like a nicotine product. Where when the pest feed on that product, it feels like it's full i guess you could say it stops its eating abilities when it eats the chemical when it eats the hurt or the, the pesticide it stops eating or feasting on your root system and destroying your grass neonicotinoid it's a fun fact for you guys nice little word there for you um learn something today yeah <laughs> neonicotinoid i like saying that word neonicotinoid uh it's in your pest control families all right the immediate cloprid, definitely that product. Okay? What's great about them is that they're water soluble. So when you mix these products into a tank sprayer, mix it with water, you spray your lawn, any one of the granulars or the liquid applications, what's key about this, you have to water them in. You want that to be uh, watered down into the soil system where the problem resides, which is your grub worms in the case of this video so you got some option guys you can get the diy stuff at the big box stores you can get professional with it if you want something that's a little bit more affordable long term 0.6 ounces out of a gallon 128 ounces divided by 0.6 you know how long that bottle is going to last me well guys i actually do utilize this product for client work so i go through it in a season okay um Either way, let's get to spraying. If you guys have any questions, comments, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below. But it's time to start protecting your lawns, May lawn care, kill those grubs now, or start protecting your lawn right now, guys. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. It's that easy, okay? Um, last few things. Um, granular or liquid form, either way is a great option. DIY, get yourself a spreader, get yourself some product to prevent grub worms. Get the season long control. If you know you've got an actively growing grub problem, go ahead and use a product that's got that 24 hour kill grub now kind of label to it, all right? reapply i would stick with three months go on the lower side reapply every three months uh now is the time to do it so that you're constantly protecting your lawn during that life cycle of the grub worm okay neonicotinoid don't forget that one tell all your buddies about it it's a really cool word <laughs> um and then lastly a little pro tip when you guys saw me mixing uh my liquid form you saw me rinse out my my actual container okay 
Remember, some of that residual that's in that container is part of your application rate, the 0.6 ounces per thousand. So rinse out your containers, dump that into your liquid sprayer if you guys are doing that option. Also, I wanted to mention one last thing before I let you guys go is your application rate. This is very important, okay? Um, this is a pesticide. There are fungicides, there's fertilizers. There are certain types of fertilizers where you can just throw her down, right? <laughs> It is what it is and not burn the lawn right you guys have seen through my own process where we had a bottle of fish emulsion spill and it burned the lawn right application rates are important guys so i just want to note this because i saw a video uh not too long ago this gentleman put down some pesticide control for grub worms and he ran out of product okay and he was using a push spreader the thing that blew my mind is that when you guys are utilizing your push spreaders okay there is something known in the lawn care industry that you need to calibrate your push spreader. There is no calibrating a push spreader, okay? This is, again, one of these little pro tips. We say calibrate your push spreader, but we're, what we're really trying to tell you is you need to calibrate yourself in the sense that on these products, there are application rates, there's dials, there's numbers on, on all of these uh, push spreaders the number correlates to the granular okay and that number on your push spreader opens and closes to the size of a granular depending on the product you're applying so to not run out of product and waste pest control products and overdo it okay or overdo it and have to go spend more money and be wasteful let's be mindful let's be environmentally friendly start off on your lowest setting okay and your preel size open that setting just big enough and i can't even grab one of these little prills from my biotar application let me see open your prill setting to where it where that granular barely fits through start off on the low setting if you have questions about calibrating your spreader start off on the low setting do a pass see how much product's coming out and if you need to increase your spreader setting then do so now those bags those label rates your push spreader may not always be on those bags okay this is how you calibrate your spreader you don't calibrate your spreader okay you calibrate yourself you need to know your walking speed when you're pushing this product through so you need to get used to knowing your own lawn your own spreader but it's really what it boils down to is that granular or that prill size start off on the low setting if you've got if you do your passes north south and then east west on a granular and you still have extra product go ahead and do another pass on pest control the most important part a lot of these granulars I, you know, one of these products is 0.8 pounds per thousand square feet. Another product is two pounds per thousand square feet. If you measure it out, weigh it out, dump it in your spreader, you need to make sure that that two pounds last your entire yard. Do not overdo it. Um, know your spreader settings, know your walking pace, know how many pounds of products you're gonna lie because there are state laws and federal regulations that apply in regards to how much you can actually use per season. Keep that in mind, pro tip guys. Other than that, you guys stay tuned, follow along. If you have any other questions, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Y'all have a good one, bye.